George Floyd, I Can't Breathe. I remember years ago, when I might have been in my 20s, maybe my 30s. But I had went out with this police officer, and I am from Detroit, Michigan. And there is a park there called Rouge Park. So we had went to Rouge Park, you know, we're sitting in the van, and um, all of a sudden, you know, he's trying to take off my clothes. And I'm like, you know, I'm not down with that, no. Now, he had a police sticker on the back of his van window, like most police officers do on their privately owned vehicle so two other police officers pulled up on us now we weren't even supposed to be parked there after 11 when they pulled up on us and they seen what he was doing to me when they looked at the sticker on his van they said oh man let's go he one of us didn't stop, didn't ask if I was being sexually assaulted. Am I okay? I'm steady telling them I'm being sexually assaulted. They said, man, he one of us. Let's go. Well, it's time for this shit to stop. I am sick of it. I'm protesting. Now, I'm not doing the violence thing. I'm too, I'm, I'm 60 years old. I'm not getting ready to do the violence thing. But I will be protesting here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, with the rest of the protesters down on East Livingston Avenue, I will take time out of my day today because they've been out there for a few days, but I was working. But I'm taking time out of my day today. I'm getting ready to get up. I'm getting ready to get dressed, start my day, see what time they're going to start protesting, and I'm going to be standing right out there with them. I'm trying to get some people together to go to... um. Minneapolis, and I may just drive up there all by myself. I'm free to do whatever I want when I get ready. But this shit has got to stop. <laughs>